My name is Paige. I'm a 29-year-old full-time housewife. Currently, I live with my husband, Thomas. Actually, I've only spoken about this with Thomas, but get this. I actually have Thomas's first child inside of me right now. It's been three years since we got married, but we were having trouble getting blessed with a child. When we discovered that I was pregnant, Thomas and I both cried tears of happiness. We're gonna become a family of three. I was excited from the bottom of my heart for the birth of our child. However, we decided not to say anything to our in-laws until I reached the safe. That's what we decided as a couple. I'm home. Paige, how are you feeling? Is your morning sickness okay? Welcome home, Thomas! Yeah, today's been a really good day. I was just thinking it's uneasy to be at home by myself, so I was thinking about maybe going to maternity school starting next month. Well, that's good. I wonder if the baby inside of you is a boy, or is it going to be a girl? Either way, I'm happy. I really can't wait. I bet even if it looks like me, or it looks like you, it's going to be the cutest baby in the world. Yeah, I think so too. As long as the baby comes out healthy, that's all we can hope for. That reminds me, uh, when do you want to talk to your mom and dad about it? Maybe next month? The doctor told me that at this stage, the risk of a miscarriage significantly decreases, so we're getting into the safe zone. I see. That's good news. Well then, I'm pretty sure we'll have a dinner party at my parents' house soon. So why don't we talk to them about it then? But that being said, my older sister is currently going through infertility treatment, and she's pretty sensitive towards the word pregnancy, so we need to find the right timing and be careful when we tell them. That's true. I don't think we can celebrate too much in front of your sister, and plus with the way that I'm physically feeling changes day by day, and so if I'm being honest, I don't think I can participate in the dinner parties the same way that I did before. Once a month, my in-laws had dinner parties, and besides my husband and I, my brother's older sister Karen and her husband, who lived in a different state, also came to join. And to be honest, these parties weren't fun for me at all. If anything, I wish I didn't have to participate, that's how I felt. Because as the daughter-in-law who married into the family, I get put to work preparing all the food and drink for the family. Not only am I unable to actually sit down and relax and eat, they don't even include me in their conversations. They practically treat me like a slave. What are my mother-in-law and sister-in-law doing during that time, you ask? Well, my mother-in-law just orders me around as she likes, and since my sister-in-law married into her husband's family, she's treated like a guest in the house. That's why I am the only one that has to run around and take care of everything. To be honest, not once have I ever thought that dinner party as being enjoyable. Hey Paige, speak of the devil. I just got a message from my mom. She asked if we wanted to get together on Saturday this week. What do you want to do? Do you want to skip this time? I don't mind either way. <sighs> what should I do? We don't have any reason not to go, and we've also never missed any of the parties until now, so they might think it's suspicious. Well then, why don't we participate? And if we can find the right time to say that we're pregnant, we can tell them. That's true. That's what I said, but as usual, I was definitely not looking forward to it. I just know that it's two to three hours that I have to tolerate it, but in reality, I really hated it. As for Thomas, he always seems to be enjoying his meal as usual with his family, but that's because he doesn't notice any of the harassment that I was receiving from his mother and his sister because they were very sneaky about it, and in order not to show people that they were harassing me, they would do it secretly in the kitchen or in the hallways, and it also wasn't enough to make me cry on the spot, and it's not like they were obviously hurting me, so I thought that it would be fine as long as I just tolerated it. That's why I hadn't really told Thomas about it. So, the dinner party over the weekend. My mother-in-law had ordered delivery from the famed Panikore Sushi restaurant. She'd ordered five portions of the specialty sushi and one order of bean rolls. Apparently, my father-in-law was going to be home late that day, so he wasn't going to join until later. And my sister-in-law, Karen's husband, was busy, so they said they would also be joining later. Wow! Today's specialty sushi also looks so delicious. It does, doesn't it? Looks like the young chef put a lot of care into making the sushi today. Look, you can see how luscious the fish is that are in season right now. It looks delicious! Alright, everybody! 
everyone, sit down, sit down. Oh, Paige, can you get the plates for the soy sauce and also the hot tea for the people who aren't drinking alcohol? Yes, ma'am, right away. I see. Today they're planning on using me like a slave from the very beginning. I did exactly as I was told and I prepared the small plates for the soy sauce and prepared three cups of hot tea in the kitchen. During that time, the family was already diving into the sushi and they kept saying things like, Oh, it's so delicious. It's so good. And they were eating the specialty sushi one by one. Paige, is the tea ready yet? I'm thirsty. And also, once you're done pouring the tea, can you also get the soup ready? Y yes That's right. Oh, and there's also pickles in the fridge. Can you separate that into two plates? And I want you to bring that out to the dining table. Yes, ma'am. Oh, also, Paige, one cold beer from the fridge, too. Oh, please wait a moment. I'm going to prepare each thing one by one now. What is it? Today they're more aggressive than usual. I was running around all over the house, doing exactly as I was told by my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Today, more than most days, I'm exhausted. Especially since I was also pregnant with a child, I can't move as quickly as I used to be able to. That's how I felt. And then, sometime after that, I finally finished all of the things that they asked of me, and I was finally able to sit down in the seat in the corner for me. Paige, thanks for taking care of that. I prepared this sushi especially for you. For you, instead of the specialty sushi plate, you can have these bean rolls! What? What? What's so surprising about that? because every month I'm doing a dinner party just for the family. So I made sure to prepare enough specialty sushi plates for the family. And so here, you're not family, you're dinner. That should be enough, shouldn't it? <laughs> How could you? To be fair, because I was pregnant, I was trying not to eat too much raw fish, but even still, she didn't know I was pregnant and this is how she treats me? <laughs> Poor Paige, you look like you're shrinking in your seat. Come on, why are you so upset? That's hilarious. Th this is so awful. Oh dear, Paige, do you not have an appetite? If you're not gonna eat it, then I can eat it for you. I can also eat it for you. As they said that the two of them started to eat the bean rolls that were right in front of me. Thomas was still at the table and he was shocked by the situation and he was shaking in his seat. However, before Thomas and I could say anything back, suddenly I started to get dizzy and the world was spinning in front of me. Because I'd been standing the whole time and I was so hungry that I hadn't eaten yet, even though that was the middle of dinner party, I started to feel unwell. Thomas noticed the change in me and he quickly said, Hey Paige, are you okay? Get it together! When I heard Thomas's voice, I was somehow able to come back to myself and I drank the water that Thomas had brought me and I was able to calm down. But when I looked at Thomas, I can't, I can't hold it anymore. Oh, he's about to lose it. I immediately realized. Oh, um, my phone, my phone. Mm, all right, I'm ready. However, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law were looking at us, but because they were already drunk from the alcohol, they only chose to shower me with more harassment. What? Cut it out. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to hold in my laughter. That's right, that's right! You know, actually, my mom and I were saying lately that you've gotten a little fatter these days. And especially since you've gotten fat, if you move too much, you'll probably get out of breath! But then look at you, you're not actually feeling well. I know, right? That's why for the sake of your diet, instead of the specialty rolls, we thought that the bean rolls might be better for you. So, you know, that was my kindness to you. Aren't you glad, Paige? You were able to have less food today, so maybe you will have lost a bit of weight by now! I stood up with my heavy body and I was about to give him a preach of my mind. However, at that moment... That's enough already! Both of you! Thomas, what are you getting so angry about? Your sister and I were just giving our opinions for Paige's own sake. That's right! And why are you glaring at us like that? That's so unlike you, Thomas. Plus, I'm sure you would prefer a more smart-looking wife than a fat one, right, Thomas? Because Paige was being lazy and not taking care of herself, and we were kind enough to give her some guidance today. Excuse me? You're doing this for Paige's sake? And that's why you're calling Paige lazy and fat and things like that? That's right! Thomas, you're too nice, so you can't be honest with Paige, can you? Because you know, your kindness has always been your best quality since you were little. That's right! You're the type that can't be straightforward with how you feel. 
It seems like you especially can't see anything to Paige, you bored thing. Well, Paige is an outsider after all. It's not your fault that you have to be careful with your words with her. That's right, because she's not a member of our family. That's why I spoke up on your behalf. You say Paige isn't a member of our family? Even though she's my wife? Well, I guess that's what that means. But you don't need to worry about details like that. Huh? This is bad, this is bad, this is really bad! You shouldn't make Thomas more angry than this. Thomas's mom and his sister, please don't open your mouth any further. Because Thomas... Normally, he's really, really, really calm. He's quiet and he's kind, thoughtful, and I'm sure even before we got married, he's actually never gotten angry. However, I've always heard that people like that are even more terrifying when they actually do get mad. And Thomas, when he's angry, is extremely terrifying. And that's because he had a strong sense of justice, and he is an honest man that hates anything twisted. However, it was already too late. Are you kidding me? Ah! Paige is carrying our precious baby right now! We wanted to give you the big news today, but I'm nothing but disappointed in the two of you! What? P -p 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 Paige is pregnant! I didn't know anything about that! Yeah, because we didn't tell you! Especially because of Karen's situation, and we were trying to be sensitive about that and find the right timing to tell you! And yet, I can't believe that the two of you would team up and harass Paige like this! You pieces of crap! I'm sorry, Thomas, but, 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 but we didn't know anything about Paige being pregnant. You don't need to reply. I'm telling you that no matter what you say now, it's too late. But because that's... Even before she got pregnant, you two bastards were harassing her, weren't you? Do you think that I don't know anything about it? Huh? Well, I had a feeling that this might happen someday, but this is the perfect opportunity. That's why I also thought that today we should make everything clear. Without knowing anything, they were harassing me, thinking Thomas didn't know. But let me tell them now that this harassment of me was actually pretty famous with the neighbors as well. It seemed that Thomas had the same thought, and so when Thomas was done saying what he wanted to say, it was my turn to tell them. Mom, have you guys forgotten that the young chef of Panikori Sushi and I are high school classmates? What? So what are you saying that has to do with this? I actually got a call from him the other day that even though you've ordered from them many times, that my wife has apparently never eaten the sushi. And so, he asked me what was going on. Well, well, that's because Paige probably just didn't have the time to eat it. That's not our fault. Hey, Paige, you need to say something. At this rate, it makes us seem like we're the bad guys. Well then, as you wish. I'll say one thing about that. Every single time when you're done eating, it's always my responsibility to turn the sushi plates back to the restaurant, isn't it? And every time I do that, the young chef asked me how the sushi tasted, so I wasn't able to fake it anymore. That's why I told him I've never actually been able to try his sushi. Huh? <laughs> hey, wh what did you do? Why would you do that? Well, I am an honest person, so whenever I return the sushi platter, there are always a lot of the neighbors there as well. And so that's why I tell them the bean rolls are truly delicious here. Hey! And I told them how, even though the sushi rice is delicious and the fresh fish is carefully treated, how you and your daughter drench the expensive sushi in soy sauce, and how you sometimes separate the fish from the rice and put mayonnaise on it. Hey! You! I also told them about how before the dinner party I overheard you two talking about how you were going to make me suffer. <laughs> what? But then the neighbors told me that they wanted me to tell them more about these dinner parties, and so I did. How you're always talking trash about your husband, and that when you get drunk, you don't tell your husband, and you go to the casino, and you're actually in debt because of it. Huh? And then I also told them how, one time when you were drunk, Karen, you told me that even though you're receiving money for infertility treatment from your husband, that you're actually spending it all on an escort. I told the neighbors all about that, too. Ha! Ah! You two are the worst! I can't believe that's what was going on! As long as you don't think of Paige as part of the family, I won't be able to think of you two as my family either! Hey, wait! I'm cutting all ties with you! I won't be contacting you anymore! And I'm gonna be telling Dad and your husband about this, Karen! Oh, you don't need to worry about that. What? Ever since this conversation started, I've actually been on the phone with your father and Karen's husband, and they've been connected! With that, I pulled out my cell phone that I'd been hiding in my pocket, and my mother-in-law and sister-in-law turned completely pale. Oh, well done, Paige. Thanks. <laughs> well then, Paige, let's go home. 
I already called the taxi. Okay. H hey, wait! Let's talk about this all together one more time. Th that's right. If anything, I can order one more platter of the specialty sushi right now, right? Come on, we're family, aren't we? Let's get along, right? Family? No. The only family that I have is Paige, and we're going to spend time as a family. So I'm leaving. Oh, Thomas, don't forget. Our family is about to grow with one more person. Oh, that's right. My sister-in-law was pale and had lost her words, and my mother-in-law was crying and mumbling. But Thomas and I ignored them and we held hands and walked out the door. My mother-in-law was crying and apologizing, but Thomas didn't look back once. My mother-in-law was brushed off by her beloved only son, and her secret was exposed to her husband. And similarly, Karen was about to go into a war zone with her husband. However, those were both seeds that they planted themselves. I suppose you could say that it was only a matter of time. Three days later, my mother-in-law and sister-in-law were divorced, and I heard that they were both riddled in debt. Now the two of them are living in a rundown apartment together, and they both have multiple part-time jobs just to work and try to pay back those debts. On the other hand, as for me, today was a day of my pregnancy exams. Hey, listen to this, Thomas! Today, when I went to the hospital, I found out the gender of our baby! What? Really? Which one's it gonna be? A boy? A girl? <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be having a girl! A girl! I knew it! You know, I had a feeling we were going to have a girl. I've already even thought of a name. Really? Yeah, Pauline. I wanted to name our daughter Pauline. Oh my, what a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see?